What's up guys, I'm back and she's back and this time I'm gonna break down my Christmas song, Jingle Bells. In this video, I'm gonna mostly focus on the 808s, but I'll show you everything that I did. So I started out with a tambourine and a simple melody that's played on a key sound and in a go-go sound actually, which sounds like this. Here's the a go-go, just a little bell thing. Here's the keys. and together it just sounds like that. When it goes into the drop, the 808 holds everything together, so I'll really break down what I do in that. I'll show you how it goes. Okay, so the melody is simple, right? The drums aren't really doing a whole lot. It's the 808 movement that's doing a lot. So if I open this up, so you can see there's a lot of movement. It starts high, goes low. I even have some pitch bend stuff right here, which I'll play right now. So that all is just pitch bend. And I focused on just making the 808 doing a bunch of crazy things to make it sound really interesting. Like even right here, what I did is I, I duplicated this first 808 and then I made the glide longer so that when I play it, I'm just stepping down a bunch of notes. So when I play it, it goes boom. So it sounds like this. And I added that in. Dude, so that's it, so sick. Yeah, so that's it's just- super sick. Thank you. I focused on making the 808 pattern the thing because everyone knows the Jingle Bells melody. So there's really nothing like exciting that I could do to it, except for just use a corny and stereotypical sound, which makes the song more funny. And then just making the 808s loud. Honestly, all I did was I turned the 808s up. I made this 808, this first one in Serum. Serum is great for designing sounds. And I've designed quite a few of my 808s in here. I'll just play it and you can see kind of what's going on. See, I have like the envelopes are moving and this is moving. So that's the wavetable moving. And then it goes into the second 808, which is a different 808. And this is a shorter 808, which I also designed in Serum. And I'll play it again right here. So you can see all the things I'm doing. I'm lowering the high pass as the 808, or the low pass as the 808 moves. You can see all these envelopes that are changing. And this is really nice creating 808s in a synth like this, because then if I wanna make the 808 last longer, I can just change the release time or the decay time or something really fast. I can just adjust a knob and now all of a sudden the 808 lasts for minutes or I can adjust it really short. So there's just a lot more flexibility in creating your own synths. And I think that's really useful. Um, again, in the pattern, you really can tell. Useful. Yeah, it is really useful. Then with a sample. You can just, cause you can do whatever you want with a synth, yeah. but a sample you have to work with the confines of audio. Yeah, so it's really nice. That's just one of the reasons you're like, really good because you're patient to sound design trying to make my like, head all big <laughs> i'm just not patient <laughs> at all and again with the pattern it was just being creative so just a lot of movement and making making the 808 do a bunch of crazy things just because that's what's exciting because the melody is not exciting you already know it, like i already said and then about halfway through the song there's that big distorted it almost sounds like a horn but it's actually i just ran a piano through a bunch of distortion so it sounds like this so it's just a piano running through tons of distortion. It sounds like that big horn. That's and it's a just, piano? Yeah, it's actually a piano. Stop. It's just a piano note. Get out of here, dude. Yeah. I thought that was a horn too. Yeah, yeah no, dude. it's it's just a piano. That's crazy. Let me get that sample though. <laughs> and the final thing in this song, which makes the song so fun, is the guitars at the end. So I recorded nine guitars and a bass and so that it was just I just wanted like five seconds of metal just for the fun of it That's my favorite and, part. and it sounds like this so it's just an acoustic guitar and then and it's it's done and then it's gone, and then it's gone. So, a little bit yeah a so, little bit of metal you know? exactly and that's how I made this track